Hi boys and girls, Merry Christmas to you. I am so excited to be able to talk to you for just a couple minutes about a scripture that I read this week in the Book of Mormon. We are on the very last chapter of the last book in the Book of Mormon. So we have read the entire Book of Mormon this year and studied it, and I think that is so cool. So here's the verse that I wanted to share with you from the Book of Moroni, chapter 10, and it's verse 30. And this is Moroni talking directly to us. He's giving us some advice that he knows will help us. And he says, I would that you would come unto Christ and lay hold upon every good gift. Now, what does that mean? Well, he wants us to come unto Christ. And I bet you guys know what that means. That means that he wants us to follow Jesus and try to be like him. And that's what you're already learning how to do. Some of you have been baptized this year or were baptized in years before, and you started to make promises to Heavenly Father that you would follow him. And some of you are preparing to be baptized soon, and that is so great. So you guys already know how to do that. Your parents and teachers have been teaching you how to come into Christ and be like him. But he also tells us to lay hold upon every good gift. Now, Christmas is coming up, right? Only five more days, and you guys are going to be getting some gifts, I bet. But that's not the kind of gift that Moroni is talking about. He's talking about laying hold of the gifts the Heavenly Father gives to us. And those of you who have been baptized have already received a special gift called the gift of the Holy Ghost. And he wants us to listen to the Holy Ghost because sometimes the Holy Ghost will put ideas into our mind of how we can help and bless other people. And those are the kinds of things that Heavenly Father wants us to do. When, when Moroni talks about laying hold upon every good gift, he wants us to figure out how to use the gifts the Heavenly Father has given us, like the Holy Ghost, to bless his other children because that's what Jesus spent his whole life doing was blessing and helping other people. So you guys have five more days until Christmas, and I want you to use your brains and also listen to the Holy Ghost and see if you can think of some ways to use the gifts Heavenly Father has given you to bless other people. So one thing I've noticed about children is that they are very gifted, very good at making other people happy by doing small things like maybe giving a hug or drawing a pretty picture or a little note for somebody. Is that something you could do for somebody in your family or somebody that lives near you? Or today in Sacred Meeting, you guys saw the primary children, some of you singing that beautiful song, Silent Night, and I bet that made a lot of people happy. And you can do that in your home. You can do that over the telephone or maybe the computer with your grandparents or other people that you love. You could sing them a song or just talk to them and tell them how much you love them. So five days, that's my challenge to you, is over the next five days, see how you can come into Jesus Christ by being like him and sharing the gifts that Heavenly Father has given to you with the other people around you and see how happy you can make them and I promise you that if you do that, you will feel happy inside uh, more than you ever have before. So Merry Christmas to you guys. Right after I'm done talking, we're going to watch a little video about two children and one way they use their special gifts to bless other people. So maybe that'll be something that can give you some ideas. Merry Christmas.